good evening everyone welcome to today's story time so the title of today's story is what's that smell the author of the story is ashwita jaykumar and illustrator is tarik aziz i really liked it because i am a microbiologist and the story talks about microbes towards the end okay so let's see what this is about it's a level 3 story book by storyweaver.org.in so there is a family who went somewhere for a holiday or something so tara and her family are back home it's good to be back isn't it tara says ma tara nods i am hungry madhav rubs his stomach oh also hungry he says loudly the younger one tara and madhav we have milk eggs bread and vegetables in the fridge says ma i will cook dinner says pa pa can you make fried rice asks tara fried rice madhav eats he likes both the kids like fried rice as soon as tara madhav pa and ma enters the house they know that something is wrong very wrong ooh chee what's that smell cries tara a monster yells madhav and he wants to get back in the lap of mama not step down in the presence of a monster it is hot dark and stinky the whole house smells where is the smell coming from ma checks the bedroom madhav checks the bathroom tara checks the dining room pa checks the kitchen is it from the gas stuff maybe it's leaking no it's coming from there says pa pointing at the fridge a stinky fridge monster yes tara scared says madhav hugging ma let's open the fridge and see what is inside says ma ma opens the fridge everyone covers their noses and mouths hmm it's warm inside and the light is off says ma sticking her arm into the fridge so the fridge should not be warm inside and when we open it normally a light goes on but it's not happening what happened as tara the fridge stopped working some time ago pa explains without the cold air everything is spoiled says ma glumly has the milk gone bad asks tara yes can you smell how sour it is asks ma milk needs to be kept cold to stay fresh says pa has the bread gone gone bad asks tara yes do you see that green stuff that's mold says pa it grows on the bread so green mold it's growing fuzzy says madhav curiously don't touch it says pa you will fall sick if you eat it have the vegetables gone bad too asks tara sadly yes they are rotten says ma we can't eat them madhav picks up an egg and drops it madhav now it smells even worse with the broken egg shouts tara oh no these have gone bad too says pa tara is sure she can never eat eggs again with the smell she is getting now yak 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 cries madhav running away while pa cleans up the mess they put all the rotten food into garbage bags and clear the fridge why do things go bad asks tara everything goes bad over time the cold air of the fridge keeps food fresh for longer not forever just simply longer when it is warm food goes bad faster says ma does all food spoil asks tara not this rice says ma or these potatoes at least for a while rice is good as long as it is dry once it gets moist everything spoils and not this pickle says pa unless you put a drop of water or a dirty finger into it and not this ghee same goes for that says pa ma we can eat ghee rice and potatoes says tara happily so something saved but how did the things go bad what was there to cause them to go bad 
they were not really monsters but they were invisible microbes it's written monsters here tara and madhav thought there was an invisible monster in their house while there was no monster to be found they were right about being something invisible because they are so small in size we can't see them but they are always present in the air and water and everything even in our bodies around us when food goes bad meaning it can't be eaten by human beings it's because something invisible has already begun to eat the food these invisible beings are called microorganisms or microbes they are not totally invisible they are just very very tiny tinier than the tiniest insect you have ever seen you need a machine called a microscope to be able to see them and they look something like this how they look in this picture this is how they look like okay so there are so many different variety of them and you know our body has 10% of the, they have so much of these microorganisms if we separate them from our body they'll fill a whole bucket of 10 liter or so so much microbes live with us in our body when food goes bad some foods spoil quicker than others and some foods spoil very slowly wet foods like many fruits and vegetables spoil faster dry foods like uncooked dal and rice spoils slower eggs meat and cheese animal products they spoil very fast preserved foods like pickles and ghee they spoil slowly packaged foods like biscuits and sweets they spoil the slowest okay but all the all the microbes are not bad we use a lot of microbes for good in our kitchen routinely and in life also for example when the milk turns to curd that's because of a microbe when mama grinds and makes the dosa batter and let it rise for few hours or overnight it does so because of some microbes right we use them for a lot of different purposes in our life in a controlled way okay so all the microbes are not bad there are a lot of good ones which we use daily in our kitchen and in life okay i hope you enjoyed listening the story i really enjoyed telling it thank you